Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Janet English Class. Today, I will be teaching you how to learn English with comic strips. Let's get started. Okay, firstly, we have this little story, Sunny in Timpton Town. Okay, so firstly, let's see. Time to rise and shine on this wonderful day. So, time to rise, rise and shine means to wake up, feel good, and like shine. Like, not really lazily and sluggish. Rise and shine means to rise up, wake up, and shine. Good morning down there, planet Earth. This is an example of personification. Let me send you my warmest regards. This is... A little parody over here, like a little pun. Warmest regards. Warmest regards means like kindly, sincerely, and the sun is also pretty warm. So, get that. Next, we have Gilbert and Godfrey. So, first little like red blob and green blob. Help! I've lost my life's direction. Oh my! That's absolutely terrible. But you know what might help you? If you let me be the light of your life. The light of your life means to like guide you. Like the, the little red blobs, I lost my life direction. That means you don't know where to go. You're not sure what to do next. And then the screen blob says, let me be the life of your life. Let me guide you into a better direction. I'm like a little flashlight in your life, and I'll guide you, I'll help you. So this is a very friendship story. Next, a different kind of flying. Mom, we're birds too, like them, right? Yes, just a different kind. Can we fly like them? No, we can't. What are these wings for then? Unlike many birds, we can swim. They're great for gliding through water. This is fun. So they're laughing because they have wings, but they're actually unique. They're swimming, and even though you can't fly, you can still swim. So this is like a little funny thing, and to demonstrate a little kiddish funny conversation. You can read them for a second, and let's move on. Procrastination. So procrastination is when you have to do something, but you just don't want to do it. Like you're being lazy. Sometimes procrastination isn't about being lazy or, or you're just burnt out. My seatmates keep on talking to me. The internet went down and I had to finish other tasks. So you created this presentation to explain why you didn't finish the presentation that you're supposed to do? Okay, a little funny thing. This like a little professor or teacher over here, like this little tall green fry saying, my seamans keep talking to me, my internet went down, I had to finish other tasks, I don't have time. So it's basically doing a presentation about why you can't do the presentation that you are told to do. It's a little funny thing. Also a little excusive kind of thing that most kids do, even adults and teenagers. Okay, last one, self-love. Why is chicken used as an insult? I don't know either. I mean, I'm so cool. You are. And I'm not afraid of anything. You really aren't. You're so brave. If anything, being chicken is a good thing. I like to think I'm chicken as well. So this little chicken right here, not a narcissist. A narcissist is a person who's too proud of themselves. Just like, I'm so cool. Why is chicken used as an insult? Chickens are brave, and if anything, being a chicken is a good thing. And this rat saying, then I like to be a chicken as well. Little fun conversation about how to be confident with yourself. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And I have other learning resources if you want, if you don't want to hurt your eyes by watching videos. 
please subscribe, turn on notification bell, and like this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.